Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on September 25th, 2025, just yesterday. The big idea is a unified system that makes 3D asset generation actually controllable by taking not just images, but also point clouds, voxels, bounding boxes, and skeletal pose to precisely steer geometry, topology, and pose. The paper is titled Hunyuan 3D Omni, a unified framework for controllable generation of 3D assets. And as we'll see later, the results are really impressive. In short, the model uses one cross-modal encoder and difficulty-aware training to improve alignment, enable geometry-aware edits, and boost robustness for production pipelines. You can find 3.3 billion parameter Hunyuan 3D Omni weights and simple commands for point voxel B-box pose control with optional EMA and flash VDM. All right, figure one highlights a unified system that accepts several geometric control signals to steer 3D asset generation. The central bubble emphasizes the Omni model, which integrates all controls in one architecture, so creators get precise geometry and pose alignment. The top left bubble signals point cloud control. The bottom left bubble shows skeleton control, meaning bone positions guide character pose. The top right bubble marks bounding box control, and the bottom right bubble denotes voxel control. Well, figure two shows how the system routes different controls through one unified control encoder, then uses a diffusion transformer and a 3DVAE decoder to synthesize the asset. The unified control encoder fuses image features with point, voxel, box, or skeleton inputs, which means creators can steer geometry and pose directly. The diffusion transformer predicts the clean latent because denoising steps move noise toward a shape representation. The 3DVAE decoder turns that latent into a mesh via a signed distance field, so the final output matches the requested structure. So, figure 3 demonstrates that pose control yields meshes that match the target skeletons across very different character styles. Skeleton control means the model receives bone positions that specify a desired body configuration, so the generator can anchor limbs and orientation precisely. The top row shows input images, the middle row shows the guiding skeletons, and the bottom row shows the resulting meshes. The meshes preserve clothing and proportions while aligning to A pose, hands up, and tilted arm poses. Okay, figure six shows that adding point cloud control sharply improves geometry compared with image-only generation. A point cloud means a set of three-dimensional dots sampled from an object surface, which gives the model a concrete spatial scaffold. Across complete, depth projected, and scanned inputs, the mesh is aligned to the true shape and scale, and occluded structures reappear. Even with noisy scans, the results stay consistent and avoid the pose or size drift seen without points. Wrapping up, two takeaways stand out. A single cross-modal control encoder with difficulty-aware training makes 3D generation genuinely steerable, and the added controls fix ambiguity, improving alignment, pose, and scale. The broader impact is faster, more reliable asset pipelines for games, film, and design. That is it for the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex. Thanks for listening.